Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am very excited to share with you this new model Unto VL which is the latest iteration of Unreal models representing nearly a year of innovation. That's correct. The company has spent more than a year effort on this model so it must be good and we need to check it out so that is why we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works before that let's try to understand what exactly this model is because if they have spent one year they must have done something new and unique also you might have noticed that instead of saying quen i am saying un so that is a chinese chinese pronunciation as has been corrected by one of the viewers and Un is a word which has quite a broad meaning around knowledge, quest and that sort of thing. If you are a Chinese speaker and want to shed more light on it, please also guide us in the comments. Okay, coming back to the Un to VL model. VL of course stands for Vision Language. This model has a lot of key enhancement. First and foremost, this achieves a state-of-the-art performance on visual understanding benchmarks including Math Vista, Doc, VQA, Real World and a lot of other and I think I also have a table here which you can also find it on their model card. You see the performance if you compare it to like Mini CPM or Intern VL2 its performance is really amazing on most of the benchmarks and it beats it um, with a quite ma wide margin and this is the one thing that in the image models or vision models where a model can understand images even three or four points difference is big due to the nature of the model so that is one thing about this model and there are various uh, variants in it other key advancements for this model is that it understands video of 20 minutes plus that's correct and these videos could be of very high quality uh, based like question answering dialogue content creation and it will understand it easily also uh, it's sort of an agent that can operate on your mobiles and robots due to the size because it comes in various sizes and i will shortly show you it has also got multilingual support um, so not only english but also it understands chinese japanese korean arabic vietnamese and various european languages if you look at its architecture here, um, let me show you the architecture. Let me close this one. And I think this is the image which I had opened. Not sorry, my apologies. Let me quickly find out. Okay, I'll just scroll down here. So this is the architecture I was talking about. So the architecture uh, seems quite interesting here because unlike before, this can handle arbitrary image resolutions. And the way it does it it maps them into a dynamic number of visual tokens as you can see here and then that offers a hum more human like visual processing experience also it decomposes positional embedding into parts to capture 1d textual 2d visual and 3d visual positioning information which enhances its multimodal processing capabilities and i already have done um, a very easy to understand video on a rope uh, and or positional embedding so please check it out okay this is the model which i am going to uh, show you today the unto vl 2 billion instruct that is what we are going to install on our local system before i show you the installation and we play around with it let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to it in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus this is my terminal where i'm running ubuntu and this is a gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let's create a conda environment i'm just calling it un let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time Okay, so the Conda environment is created. Next up, let's install some of the prerequisites like Torch, Transformer, Accelerate. And also, Un has given us this utils um, package, so I'm also installing it. So let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take three to four minutes. All the prerequisites are done now. Next up, let's launch our Jupyter Notebook so that we will 
download the model and play around with it in the browser so let's wait for it our jupyter notebook is launched let's import the libraries which we have just installed and that is done next up let's download the model with this undo vl for condition generation and then we are just putting it on our device here and it has started downloading the model there are two shards of it the size seems it's okay like i think 7 to 8 gig which is cool let's wait for it to get downloaded and the model is downloaded and the size is even less than that i thought maybe the second shard would be bigger but second shard is just 429 meg so the model is just around 4 gig it seems good stuff okay anyway so model is downloaded that is quite good let's um, define the processor which is just an auto processor with it and you can see that the processor has grabbed the relevant tokenizer all the preprocessor configuration and now let's define our prompt template so make sure the prompt template is in this format where we are giving it user and then we are providing it image its url and then describe the image and this is the image which i think showed you earlier um so where there is a girl on the beach there are some waves in the background and there is a dog sitting okay so let's define this and that is done and now let's do the inference for the inference it's the usual stuff where we are applying the chat template we are uh, passing the text or prompt and with image to the processor which is going to convert it into token give it to our model to generate the output on CUDA device and then we are decoding the output of model back and then we are printing it out so let me run it and there you go you see it has produced the response because we had asked it to describe the image again this is the image and can I maybe I'll just put it with the text it has produced sorry I can't okay, I can make it a bit shorter now you can see the image depicts a serene beach scene with a woman and her dog the woman is sitting on the sand wearing a plaid shirt how good is that and a black pants you see black pants and appears to be smiling oh my goodness that is cool she is holding up her hand into in a high five gesture uh, sort of uh, towards the dog which is also sitting on the sand the dog has a harness on and its front paws that is correct are raised in a playful manner the background shows the ocean with gentle waves and the sky is clear with a soft glow from the setting or rising sun casting a warm light over the entire scene the overall atmosphere is peaceful and joyful capturing a moment of connection between and then because we have cut down the output but you can see and the point is that i have read all of it with the image that you could see that how good is that i mean it has gone into the detail of the human shape clothing background scenery the whole atmosphere it has really described it quite well next up i am testing its optical character recognition capabilities so i have just used a local image from my disk which has ocr so this is the image which i have used and then i have embedded it into the prompt i ran that processor again and now let's see what is the ocr so this is the image i have used let me drag it above okay now look at it so the quick brown fox jumps over and it has produced it quite well with all the hashes and all the signs even some of the umlauts are here like in maroon and it has also deducted that it's not just english but also few other european languages and it has because it is multilingual so you can see that it is almost perfect there are few uh, mistakes like for example this um i think yeah maybe a slight but i think all in all really good stuff really good stuff so and remember just a 2 billion model vision language i mean how things have improved just in few months in terms of vision languages okay let's try out another one so i think i'm just going to uh, grab one more and then we will see i just want to see uh sorry this one home one two and these are my images let me grab one image and show you 
Okay, next up, I'm just going to use this uh, image of cathedral. And it is the St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna, one of the most beautiful buildings I have ever seen. So let's see, I'm asking the model, what is the architecture of this building in this image and where is this building? Let's see if model is able to do that. So let me run this pipeline now and let's wait for the model to come back and then we will see the response. There you go. It says the building in the image is St. Stephen's Cathedral located in Vienna, Austria. It is one of the most famous and largest Gothic cathedrals in the world. The cathedral was built between 1240 and 1375 and is known for its intricate Gothic architecture and beautiful stained glass windows. How good is that? Um, so amazing stuff and I totally agree. One of the most beautiful buildings I have ever seen too. So beautiful Gothic architecture. But you can see that the performance of this model is really out of the world. And this is just 2 billion one and I haven't even uh, shown you the rest of the lot where if you go to this collection, we have 2 billion, we have 7 billion and then they have produced some of the AWQ quantized ones. But next, uh, I will also be covering the 7 billion with more complex images to see how it goes. But even 2 billion out of the park. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.